Konnichiwa, everybody. Got a brown envelope. You know what that means. Stick around. Hey, everybody. Got this uh, brown envelope from Bai Yi. It's been sitting in my uh, pile for a while, I think. I just got a new shipment in, too. So some of these might have gotten mixed in with... Um, some of my older stuff. Okay, well, we've got a box here. Let's see what we have. All right. One thing about Japanese sellers is they are very, very meticulous when it comes to packaging their product, right? Very rarely, I don't think I've, very rarely, or if I've ever had a damaged card. So um, pretty, pretty cool. Let's see, it looks like, open up the end here. What do we got? Ooh, stack of something. Nicely packaged. Very, very nice. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's cut the end off here. Ah, oh, nice, 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 nice. These are bromides. All right, I think they're BB series bromides. Black and white bromide mango, looks like. Ooh, yeah, okay. So the thing about these is they're not photographs, uh, at least not on photographic paper. They are photographs, but they're printed using the halftone printing process. And so this, these are pretty rare to have this style in the 40s, which this was from. Here's Tamano Umi. I think that's a Tamano Umi there. I'm not gonna be able to recognize many of these rikishi, but uh, just look at some of these. So now this, these all look to be from the same set. Look, they've got three columns of information. Looks like, um, what is that, birthplace, yeah, in the prefecture he's from, and then it looks like a height and then a weight. And then you can see a facsimile signature across the front. Okay, so this is gonna be nice. I'm gonna be able to actually build out an almost entire set, I would imagine, of these. There's gotta be 30, 40, or 50 of these. Oh, wow, it's very, very cool. All right, Maedeyama, I think. So he became Yokozuna. So certainly after this, uh, this picture was taken. You can see on the back here, looks like all of them are blank backed. And so these were issued right around um, the middle of World War II or just right before World War II broke out between Japan and the United States. Wow. Man, these are in excellent condition. Just look at sharp corners. Looks like they haven't even been circulated, been sitting in somebody's closet or something for the past golly, however many years at this point, right? 80 years at this point. Very, very cool. Let's see if I can see any wrestlers that I know. Again, hard to read these actual writing. Here's uh, Futamiyama on the right, and uh, I cannot tell who that is on the left. All right, so Futabayama, so certainly he retired in 45, so certainly these are pre-1945. Uh, wow, there's Ned, look at that, Futabayama with his, his um, Keisho Mawashi and his Tsuna, his Yokozuna Tsuna, his belt, rope belt there. Wow, golly, these are in excellent condition. I wish I could read some of these names. And again, these are not, they're photographs, but then printed using halftone printing onto this uh, paper, not actually silver bromide. And again, this is a BB series and silver bromide would be BP series. All right, so it looks like we've got a different set in here. That's kind of cool. All right, you can see this very block type writing on the left there with where, you know, the, the stable that he's from, height, weight, um, and then favorite technique. Wow, okay. This is different. This is not quite the same as the previous one and not like all the other ones of these. You can see larger Shikoda. And then these three columns there, no facsimile. Okay, so now we're getting into, looks like, okay, all right. Now we're getting into some of the same set with no Shikona. I'll have to see if I can find that in my book. Here's a no Shikona one. Another no Shikona. All right, here's Teddy Cooney. He's a little, little older, probably late 40s on this one. 
kind of looks like that, but the writing's a little different. All right, now we're kind of back to the three column. Here's some more of the three column. Three column. Yeah, I don't see any doubles either. Maybe somebody sees some and I'm missing them, but uh, it doesn't look like many doubles here. All right, so it looks like there's probably three different sets at least in here. Here's another three column. Facsimile auto. There you go. Three column. All right. Hagudo Yama. Okay. So this puts, again, puts this set probably in the mid to early 40s. Here's a Hagudo Yama Dohyo Iri. Here is, who is that? Um, Hagudo Yama Dohyo Iri. All right. Cool. Wow. Two different. Uh, Two different styles there. Hey, and we actually got a double here. And then the Bayama doubles there. So one of those will be ready for trade. All right. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Vintage BB series Sumo Menko from the early 1940s. Amazing condition to survive the war, to survive all the destruction in the cities of uh, Japan, to be able to actually be here today for me to show you. So. Appreciate you tuning in, and uh, I'll put up post-production what these sets are. Thanks. Sayonara. Bye.